Hello everyone. Another short video on a chainsaw I've completed. Um, I think you guessed it. It's a 051, 051, still 051. Uh, 89 uh, cc's. It has uh, 52 mil, uh, 52 mil piston. Uh, 42 mil uh, stroke so these uh, chainsaws are uh, long stroke uh, long stroke chainsaws the same as uh, the same as 076 uh, 075 uh, piston is is uh, lying flat inside the chainsaw so it's not upright so it's horizontal you can see the spark plug goes there and uh, shares the same chassis with 076 that's why it has all these holes uh, on 0, 076 you have these uh, cutouts for uh, decompression valve you can install the compression valve on this one uh, no problem but uh, the compression is uh, manageable so you can still pull the the starter this one has a uh, uh, I think it's called Fairbanks uh, starter. Uh, it doesn't have the steel uh, setup. It has Fairbank, Fairbanks uh, Morse, Fairbanks Morse. Uh, yeah. So uh, completed. Uh, uh, let me put the light on. Maybe will help a little bit. Massive massive clutch look at the clutch uh, drum um, the clutch itself is like new um, oil is very good i've cleaned it a little bit it was messy dirty yeah so another big massive chain so that's the clutch cover this clutch cover is the one i haven't cleaned it inside because I'll, i'm planning to do some cutting um, uh, these ones uh, are without chain break and in my opinion uh, are better a better uh, design because uh, the cheap ejection will be much better much faster without clogging the inside the clutch cover um, you faintly can see here the writing electronic 051 AV anti-vibe um, yeah so similar with this one but this one is uh, in better condition and uh, newer design newer latest uh, on the line of uh, these uh, saws uh, massive uh, spike usual stuff with these uh, steel uh, chainsaws are basically if you take care of bulletproof um, another pile of Husqvarna uh, this one this one is uh, one second this one is a 162 uh, I'm waiting for rear handle I've mentioned on another video that I want to rebuild it I had another one It's a 162 AC not SG uh, you know uh, if uh, the people that follows me they know I have an SG with heated handles this is another 266 I have to clean I've dismantled completely um, I have the crank here crank with new new bearings installed FAG bearings so FAG bearings made in Portugal uh, these are so silent make no noise absolutely no noise so such a good quality original crank um, I have a replacement uh, 
what is it meteor uh, piston for the 266 this was the original one i'm afraid i couldn't find this uh, setup because you see it has better support on the skirt at the bottom but i'm afraid this uh, piston is worn a little bit more than i want to be and obviously original this is this is male is not kolben schmidt uh, i have original piston oh what is sorry original piston original cylinder here uh, clean nicely good condition i think yeah um yeah so the carb for the 266 okay back to back to steel uh let's see the filter it's so simple the, these chainsaws they were made very simple and with uh, the operators um accessible access and uh, comfort to open to to use so you can see steel that's the code so we have choke look at look how simple choke off choke on you can even see the butterfly from the tr uh, throttle and if i'll shine down oh i'm afraid i can't let me see you'll see the piston old uh, no because it's only quarter of a throttle i can't i can't light in there uh, yeah but yeah there down there is believe me is the piston so easy design two screws accessing the carb uh, easy to change the fuel line uh, I absolutely I'm impressed and I love this uh, uh, steel uh, chainsaws from that era the same as uh, 070 the same as 041 08 um, many others they were built to last the sim simple as no one thought uh, okay let's just uh, rip off customers and uh, you know which is the case with many simple filter with mesh style as everything was before nothing fancy no funny shape so let's say let's put it in this uh, you know worst case scenario worst case scenario you are cutting something and uh, by mistake or something happens and you damage the filter yeah well you can take it out wrap wrap around the uh, just a cloth just a cloth around it you know wrap wrap it around and that's it you have the filtration system organized so i think rather than the new fancy ones you can't replace with anything you have to buy the original proper stuff i think is nonsense i think it's stupid what they they doing today they don't leave any room for uh, improvement they don't leave anything for the operator to think about and yeah so i'll start the saw see how nicely it ticks over nicely runs i have a 24 inch bar and chain 404 for this one um yeah chain is round ground doesn't matter honestly it's not uh, not sharp is actually is kind of sharp but someone just uh, didn't know how to but I have, uh, I have chain for. That's not a problem. I'll switch over, and I'll start it. Uh, sorry if if my hand was in the way. Okay, I'll uh, 
he has good compression um, overall a strong nice uh, chain so still they've made quality back then no compression is I can we can sit like that all day and the, the chainsaw doesn't go down okay so um, choke no need I had it running oh Let me just adjust a little bit of the kick over. bit uh, smoky but it's nothing wrong with I've I haven't dismantled it to clean piston or cylinder I've looked inside um, everything was uh, nice and shiny clean no scoring and I've sprayed a uh, little bit of WD-40 open take off the plug take off the spark plug pull it without the spark plug just to clean eventually everything that's inside and um, you know not uh, pulling too violently on the rope just in case just feel it by hand how is it going yeah it's all good nice and clean loads of compression just uh, nice uh, chainsaw to be honest nice good chainsaw thank you very much take care of yourselves um, i'll uh, come with more uh, videos in uh, near future thank you